how to connect Mailchimp to Google Domains. If you want to use your domain from Google Domains on on Mailchimp, this is how you can do it. Come here under website, click on domains, scroll all the way down, click on connect domain. If you want to connect a full domain, you can connect the full domain. For instance, let's say the domain is called bizanosa.com. So if your domain is that, just click submit. If you want to use a subdomain, you can use a subdomain as well. So if you want to use a subdomain, you can just do sub dot and then click submit. And once you get your records, just copy them and you can see we need to create a CNAME record. So if you go to your Google domains, I don't have a domain by the name of bizanosa.com on Google domains, but if you do, just copy this and then go, go into your Google domains account, click on DNS and then under DNS, come here under manage custom records and then here click on manage custom records and then click on create a new domain. Create, click on create a new record and we want to create sub. So if my domain here is bizanosa.com, which it is not, I'll just create a domain called sub and I will create a subdomain called sub. And then I will paste in the records in there. And once I do that, I'll just click on save. And once you save, you just give it some time to propagate and then you'll go back to MailChimp give it some time to propagate because if you if you do it before it propagates then it is not going to connect if you want it to connect successfully give it some time so i'm going to just delete that because i don't need to add that and then i'm just going to save that up here do they tell us how long it takes to propagate but roughly 24 hours but you can usually just try after one hour two hours in my case let me just come back and I'll just click connect. I will remove this. I don't need to use this. Type remove to remove. Copy. Paste. Remove domain. Once uh, the domain has propagated, has taken some time since the last time you clicked on save, come back here into MailChimp and uh, click on connect domain. And if it connects, successfully it means that you, your records have been propagated if not then you'll need to wait a little longer and then just come back and do this again but if it exceeds 24 hours then something is wrong just come back remove the domain and try again by generating a new cname record come back here and create a cname record if you wanted to use your domain without the subdomain connect a domain let me try with my domain and then let's see what they'll give me and they're giving me a cname record and then the a record so what what you need to do if it is a full domain you will need to enter the a record just enter an a record and then put in the ip address paste the ip address that you get from mailchimp Right there and then you also need to create a cname record for ww so we are going to copy that and we're going to create a cname we're going to create a cname for ww and the cname will be added there the value you get from mailchimp you add that there so you can see that this is going to affect a lot of things so i'm just going to keep existing records and I'm going to delete these two. All right, and then I will save. That is how you do it. So just a, just a recap of what you need to do. You need to add the A record on this end. And to add the A record, you don't really need to add anything there. Just come here, choose A record, add the IP address that you get from mailchimp and then create another record for ww and then click on connect so i'm just going to connect but i'm going to remove and also remember once you've entered your records on on google domains just come back here and click on 
connect to connect it all right and if you get an error after doing it for some time just come back here and remove the domain and try again i hope this will help you to connect your domain with mailchimp and google domains